Hello, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared, and this is another video in the series describing the operation of version 3 software on the Mad Plasma Cutter. Okay, we're sitting at my desktop. I have gone ahead and powered up the machine, homed it, set my cutting conditions, and loaded a simple program, and I have set part zero. The gold indicator right here always indicates the position of the primary tool. In this case, we have the, the primary head, which is the torch selected. Let's go over here, and we're going to talk about um, some of the buttons over here. Zoom all is just what it says. It's going to zoom in and out. You know, I'm sorry, it's going to zoom everything. Then below it, we have a... a, a highlighted move last command and what that'll do is move to the last reported position of the machine so to demonstrate that notice over here the run button only says run let's just go ahead and hit that so we're running and then I'm going to stop the machine right here we had a tip up we had an error we stopped the machine now if I was to go hit go back to zero let's say I raise the head up or whatever um, I'm back to zero where did we stop cutting at? If, if this was a complicated large piece, you know, it's kind of a pain to find that element. Well, with this command, you hit move last and it will move you in the general vicinity um, of where the machine shut off at. It won't move you to the exact point because it, it's literally impossible to tell that. By the time a torch breaks away or something, the torch has moved on or the machine has moved on a little bit further. So this command gets you in the vicinity. Now, Let's talk real quick about the differences between a point and a block. A line of code is called a block. So if I was to pick, like for instance, I picked that line of code, you see that blue line right there highlighted? If I was to go down, now that's highlighted, the next line of code. You can see what's happening. That's a block of code. Now, since we've stopped the machine, we can start at the beginning of the block which would be right here in this case because we're cutting this away and block restart is a, uh, you, you're able to pick it is not grayed out but notice point restart isn't now let's go up here and let's select a point so we're going to go ahead and say hey the last reported position was here but let's just go right here now if we move that the torch out of the way, there's our point has been selected. And we can move around, we can do whatever we want. Now, here's here's a really cool function. Um, if you were to go up here, turn the laser on, and select the laser pointer, you could now move to point, and it takes you right to that point. So you could verify with the laser, is this really where I want to go? If not, select another point, and then... Um, I might have to move over a little bit. Let's select another point, move to point, and then that way you can zero in on where you wanted to start from. So let's go ahead and zoom back out. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to zero. We've got a block selected there, that whole blue segment. So she should start right here. So we're going to select block restart. Notice the run button up here now has changed to restart at block. Let's hit go. And sure enough, she stopped at the at started at the beginning of the block. Let's go ahead and stop it again. Now this time we're going to do a point restart. We know that she stopped here. Let's send the machine to um, go to zero. And this time we're going to pick right on this thing here, and we're going to say, yeah, it worked out right there. We're going to go ahead, select our laser pointer, move to that point. We look at it, we go, yep, that's where I want to restart. If it isn't just re-pick the point you know there's no there's just no problem just reselect the point now move to that point and once you have it now we're going to pick point restart instead of block restart the run command now says restart at point we hit the go button she goes to that point look right here now the code will change all right you see it change right there um what she did was as soon as it got done with that program it reset back to the original program. So now all we have to do is, you know, move our torch over a little bit, set part zero, and, and off we go. We're cutting another part. Anyway, that was um, everything you pretty much need to know about restarting version 3 software in the middle of an interrupted cut. Thank you for watching. Happy cutting, and you take care.